Today we are going to be discussing Windward System 5's advanced inventory control functionality in regards to setting up specific locations for inventory items, as well as setting up a pick and pull priority for those inventory records. Our advanced inventory control module is really designed to help manage inventory across multiple locations or within the specific locations of a warehouse, as an example. We're currently looking at an inventory record in our system, and you'll notice that we do have a locations tab within that inventory record. So when you click on that, this is where we can actually manage the specific locations of this particular inventory item. And you'll see in this example that we don't currently have a location configured, but we do have five of these items in stock. So what we'll do now is we'll actually go ahead and configure the specific location for this inventory item. And to do that, I'll go ahead and click New. And you'll notice when I double click on that location field, we do have four levels of inventory locations, meaning we can set up a zone, a specific aisle within that zone, a specific shelf within that aisle, to the level of a specific bin on that shelf. Now you do have control as far as what those zones are called or described as, as well as every other location field in here. You've got control of the setup and description of that. So we'll go ahead and set this one up in the South Warehouse. We'll go ahead and define that this can be found in aisle one of that zone, on shelf one of that zone, and we'll keep it simple and we'll keep it in bin A of that shelf. Okay? Now when we've done that, you'll see on the inventory record that we've got that warehouse location set up, but we still have that quantity of five with no location tied to them. We do have the ability to move those quantities now by right clicking on that location and you'll see I've got an option to either move that to a new location that we can configure or we can move it to that south warehouse that we've just configured, which is what I'll go ahead and do. And you'll see once I've done that, it's moved the, the quantity of five again from that no location now to the warehouse that we've identified. The next thing that we'll do now that we've set up the specific location for the inventory items is we have the option to set both a pick priority as well as a put away priority. A pick priority will be when you're selling these items, this is the, where you're prioritizing, where you're picking or pulling that inventory from first, as well as the similar idea for put away. So while you're, when you're purchasing your inventory and you're receiving it, you're able to identify specifically where you're prioritizing putting those inventory items. So to do that, we can click on the pick priority and you'll see we've got a drop down box where we're able to identify where we want to pick it from first, second, third, and so on. We'll go ahead and click on first, meaning when we sell these, we're picking from that location first. Same idea on the put away priority. We'll go ahead and click first there. Now again, keep in mind, two things are happening here. When we go to sell this, if we're managing inventory in a warehouse, as an example, we're prioritizing where that inventory is being sold from first or being picked first. And on the put away side, when we're purchasing inventory and managing it in a warehouse, we're able to identify what section or zone or aisle we're prioritizing putting that, that inventory. Now this location management does flow through to the invoicing or work order side of the software. So you'll see when you go to sell that inventory item that we've just configured, you'll notice we've got a location column on the work order itself, and it's prioritizing picking from that location that we've identified in our inventory control setup. This also flows through to your forms. So if we go to choose and print a pick list here, as an example, you do have the ability to sort by that location column and have that flow through to a pick list. So when the people go to pull that inventory in the back, if we preview this quickly, you'll notice that that column, that location information is flowing through to the pick list. Now we've only got one inventory item on here, but if you could imagine we had multiple inventory items, we do have the ability to sort by that specific location, making it very easy for whoever's pulling this inventory to prioritize and, and manage the inventory as you've designed. And that is a very brief overview of Windward System 5's advanced inventory control functionality in regards to specific location setup and picking and pulling priorities of those inventory items.